This is an excerpt from the play, A Pleasurable Deal, banned in no fewer than four cities for its lewd content. Sounds like our kind of book. Of you, I know, you seek a larger hoe. To plough, fair maid, and so a seed to grow. But lack do ye a mighty horn and mast, with which to guide a maid to bed and fast. There the text ends. We, we, we shall have to find a thick hoe for which he may plough his seed. I enjoyed that slightly more than the toxic gas. It was pretty good. <laughs> maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong. Or maybe you just get lucky. Bite me. Shit. Stop or lash out with your elbow. Oh no, stop. Oh no, oh you monster, oh you beast, stop. Where is my, oh hello, looking for a snack? <laughs> Stop is definite. Elbow hit, maybe flirty. Oh yeah, like usually if I'm trying to flirt with someone at a bar, I just like saunter up. And I'm like, Ugh. and that's how you know a woman's true intentions is if she elbows you in the stomach, that means she's really into you. Yeah, clearly. Where, why, why are there all these dead bodies? <laughs> oh. I don't know where all the dead bodies came from, says Dwarf Man. I'd give it a bloody good fight, that's for sure. I know what's happening here. You're welcome to rest. <laughs> we are clearly not welcome to rest here. So what's happened here is the normal friendly passive lines that they'd have with our characters while we're walking around are being triggered anyway. There must be a certain point you walk onto and the character says, Ah, oh, hello friend. Please make yourself at home. And he's just going ahead and letting his ladies do that. Even though I'm literally stabbing that guy right now. He's like, you're welcome to rest here. Anytime you like, traveler. And here is my successful intimidation roll. Very easy. Just a tenor above. Could do it in my sleep. And there it is. Uh, uh, uh. uh. Uh, uh, yeah, so I rolled a 20. I am on a roll, if you get my drift. I just, I keep rolling too high and it's really a problem because I'm so successful at everything I do. I... Why? And easy quick fire call. Do I need to pinch myself right now? Wake up. What in the cinnamon lambus toast just happened? I'll bear it back. Points will no longer count. Goodbye. See you soon. <laughs> Welcome anyone who joined during the break. We're just doing some Orsinium questing. Going through the main quest line. Why is there an orc tit taking over the whole of my screen? Shocking behavior. I'm assuming that there's a cavern underneath here. Oh, this is fine. This is fine. I didn't need knees anyway. I've got a friend here who's coming up with me. Hi. <laughs> I got distracted by having friends. This is why you don't have friends, okay? Don't have friends, it just gets you killed. It is said that the orcs came to be when the Almeri god Trinamac was devoured by the Daedric Prince Boethia. As the myth goes, Boethia excreted Trinamac's remains, and those Alma who followed Trinamac rubbed that excrement on themselves to become orcs. Um. What the fuck? <laughs> that is one thing that is missing from Valheim. I'd like to bring this up because I think it's shocking. I do not poop in Valheim. Hello, where's the realism? I want to see a big capital letters. You need to take a fucking shit. Come up across the screen. And then I've got to find a nice bush for my Viking to hunker down in and have a big old meaty no fire risk whatsoever. This passes all the elfin safety checks. I've been informed by an official fire safety officer that this is totally fine. Ah! Ah! Ah, fire! Ah, fire! You can't eat more raspberries. Don't tell me what to do with my life. Don't judge my dietary decisions. If this was me in real life living in this forest, I would just live off raspberries. No, no, stop. Oh, look at the little faces. Oh, they just want to numb my sweet, sweet, juicy ass. No, leave me alone. I think my character really needs to sleep though. I did not sleep the last night. So let's put her to bed as well. I am wet, therefore I cannot sleep. It's a common problem. Because I feel like that's something you think would be funny and then you would regret immediately because I would use all of your expensive product. Uh, this is true. When you're doing foundation, you probably go 
chakra and then just like yeah, coat it all over hard. my face. Trust me, you guys don't want to see that process. Have you ever seen a cave troll? Love is dead! <laughs> Leave! I've got to go and administer <laughs> some strict, strict beating, so I will be right back. See you shortly, Humes. But you'll never see him again. We did get a new weapon, so I can now fist people. I can now punch people! Just ignore me, okay? Dawn, I love you sing this song so much. No hunger, no sleep except to dream mild and warm. Let's see, you blundered headlong into danger for the past six chambers or more. Yep. And you made such a racket, I could almost hear it from Olympus. Yep. I have to say your hunting skills are rather unconventional. Have you never tried punching a deer in the face? All this stalking through the forest, becoming one with the trees, bow in hand. No, just run in, punch the deer, boom. Free venison for days, Artemis. You should try it sometime. I'm in second place. I do not want to jinx it. No. Oh. <laughs> if you could see my screen right now. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh my god! I want to die! I don't know if they wear orange. I think, I think she wears orange. Or is her backpack orange? Donna. Ruby type Donna in chat. Donna the Explorer. <laughs> Why am I feeling things? This was supposed to be a funny pigeon game! Congratulations, Ethereal Bloom. You are winners of Winter War of the Wisps 2021. This is your first win. So clappity clippity clap, purple and pink, making it into first place. But Winter's Embrace only slightly behind. It was neck and neck until the very end. Every single one of you, well thought. I am always amazed by how excited everyone gets and how into it everybody gets and how hard you fight for your alliances.